Imagine, the leader of a G8 country boards a government aircraft in his nation's capital. He flies 12 hours to Vladivostok, Russia. Once there, he enters a hotel room. He orders his Minister of International Trade to sign a secret agreement with the Chinese government. This agreement will not be debated or voted on in Parliament. It will be ratified by Cabinet once again in secret. So, is this a scene from the latest Bond movie? Sadly, no. It is the further adventures of Stephen Harper. Who is this guy? Since when do Canadian Prime Ministers sign secret agreements with the Chinese in Russia? Was Dr. Evil there? Was there a naked lady painted entirely in gold? Don't get me wrong, I'm not anti-trade. I expect that my government is out there negotiating trade agreements with countries, some of them totalitarian regimes. But that doesn't mean we have to act like them. Call me old-fashioned, but I believe citizens have a right to have some clue what their government is doing. And it's not like we haven't done this before. Canada signed a free trade agreement with the United States in 1988, but it was debated in Parliament. Heck, there was an election on it. We all got to vote on it. And by the way, that trade agreement with the United States, our closest friend and ally, could be cancelled by either party with six months' notice. This agreement with the Chinese? Fifteen years' notice. Apparently, they insisted on that. Look, I have no idea if this agreement is a good thing or a bad thing, but I know this. This fetish for secrecy has to stop. This government got elected by promising to be accountable and transparent. By avoiding the accountable, they become more transparent every day.